<clears throat> last video, hopefully my throat holds out, if I have no idea what happened there. One, two, three. Yeah, collapse down, this down, this down, full screen on, back to the main menu. <clears throat> we should hopefully have access to the daily challenge now, so let's get that one done, perhaps. <clears throat> Hello people of the internet, it's Needle here and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Last time we had a fantastic run with Judas, we got off to a poor start and died, but upon the refresh we done really well, we got our first guppy of the playthrough and got him a mom's heart kill as well. Now in a brief hiatus between that episode and this, we should have access to the internet and hopefully access the daily run. Hopefully. I could be totally wrong here. Connection failure. It says make sure steam is running. Oh well, I guess I need to restart all the steam and we're not really going to sit and do that, I think. So we're back to Kane on this one. Back to the beginning, the first man to fail, as it were. In our first item room we get telepathy for dummies. Not really an item I want to pick up. If there's no other option, we'll come back and grab it. An <laughs> eternal heart in our first test is pretty good. Taking damage the first person who attacks us is not very good. Mm -hmm. I just need to focus so much on these guys because they always get me and it annoys the hell out of me. Hey, yeah, you bomb. Unfortunately, unlike, uh, unlike Judas, we don't have access to a lot of devil items, so. Guffy may be beyond our reach this time, but you never know. You never know how lucky you're going to get. <laughs> he is Judas, of course. He is the king of luck, so... Walking out in the fire is definitely helping us. We have two cents. If we can maybe re-roll the machine, that would be fantastic. If we can't re-roll the machine, then I guess it's telepathy for dummies. It might help us out in the first boss battle, though. For someone like Ragman or that that moves around, why did I pick that up? Oh my god. Well, that was idiotic, but not to worry. We'll make use of it in this first boss fight, and hopefully, if someone like Ragman or Little Horn or the Haunt, we're actually going to have homing things. There we go. So it's homing, homing shots against homing shots here in the first battle. It just does so little damage, and it makes me sad. <laughs> I just don't like the Ragman as a boss, especially not as a first floor boss. I know he's a challenge and it means if you can really get by him, especially with minimal damage, you put yourself in a good position for the rest of your run. Rolling down, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, it was gonna happen. Awful dying on the first floor, but it's gonna refresh and run again. Remember what happened the last time? We got an absolutely awesome run, so you never know. I do think well a lot of the weaker characters like Eve and stuff actually has got a lot better in Afterbirth. It does kind of feel like uh, Kane just now feels so weak in comparison. Maybe it's just because I'm not very good with him and I've messed up quite a lot of runs with him. But I'm just not feeling a lot. Exact same room for the boss as we got the last time. This time with a tinted rock. Fantastic items. Exactly what we needed. Gonna go and look for the item room, of course. Ah, now we get two cents out of the four. Not so much an awesome room, but we'll try and make use of it. That big black champion did kindly gave us a key, which we don't need on this floor, but we do on the next floor. Bomber Boy, I've never actually had this before, but I think it just turns your bomb explosions into the same as there's your soul heart gone. Wow. <laughs> into the same as that of Bomberman in the kind of cross pattern. There's hoping to be something good down here. A pill. Bombs are key. key. Kind of useful actually, because it means we now have all the keys we need to kind of go to all the things we need. Larry Jr. Much better opener than uh, Ragman is anyway. So 
gonna sit here and shit them all day. Just this firepower, just seems so lacking. I think it's maybe just because we played Judas in that last run. I'm so used to actually having damage. It's kind of sad when you don't have it anymore. There's the first one already done. Yep, you're gonna be in trouble now, buddy. Eventually. There he goes, and we got actually Blood Clot and a Soul Heart, which is actually really good. We should have two Soul Hearts if it wasn't for my weird fucking analog twitchy fingers. I guess that's why many people choose to use the keyboard and mouse instead. Problem. Just shutting down those guys that chase you for the get a chance to really box you in with the rest of the enemies. What are we getting here? Giant troll bomb, lost our soul heart yet again. <laughs> Book of Revelations. So that's actually it kind of ensures we're gonna get Cuba meat like all the time. But it does give us a uh, soul heart, so I'm gonna use it. If we can get good item rims then it really doesn't matter. And now, once you get two or three cubes of meat anyway, it actually becomes quite a good item, in my opinion, so Spider dudes. Oh come on. Ah, uh, Bob's curse. So now we have cross poison blasts. It's not actually a bad combo. If we're going to try and make use of it, actually, we'll see if we can use it in this next boss battle. It's probably going to be a monstro. But we'll see. Oh, of course, we used um. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look at that damage. <laughs> we managed to hit ourselves and then lose a soul heart for the third time. But we got a ball of bandages. So that's nice. And two black hearts, which is also fantastic. We're not gonna to touch Brother Bobby because that is an awful like a awful item which I don't really care much for. Right. Caves. Straight to the item room. Something that'll offset the soul protection we're gonna need. Oh, just one more room till we can pop this bad boy again. I really had no idea, honestly, how to get out of that. So there we go, another soul heart to replace the black heart that we lost. Come on, all the steel. I thought that's just as good. <laughs> and an HP up again. So these are all good. Good lovely items that we can make good use of. As are these. We should probably start looking for secret rooms. I mean we've got what, 10 bombs so... Nothing to see in here. Or here just yet. I'm gonna use another bomb in here. Bomb radius is insane, I need to watch out for that. One makes you larger, so... Does that make us more of a target? Does it do anything, or is it just like a cosmetic thing? I've always wondered that. Ah, key. Have we found item room so far? We have, and we went to it. I can't even remember what we got. Oh, we got the yep, from it. Here we go again. Not one of these dudes. Try to actually steer clear of the battery up there. I'm going to take the fam down. No bother. Hopefully, get on the ball bandages and not keep me. Hey, so that's has got level 2 ball bandages. And we also get two uses of the Book of Revelations. 
So now we're looking great with our HP. We need a wee bit more damage, I think. Even ball bandages level 3 or something would be very nice. Give ourselves a bit of safety here. Stand and fight and went to run away. Problem and his last dude. Okay. Hey, yeah, not a problem. I'm really happy how we've turned out again. Yet again, we've had an awful first run. Possibly rescued at this moment by a good second run. Although, not fit to comment on that until we get a wee bit more damage so we can actually kill things. Oh my god. No. It's just whenever they don't have sort of regular intervals, it's kind of difficult to get in and those hits. There we go. Getting me, buddy. Can you do some more greed mode runs as well? I'm just kind of thinking about this at the moment. I'm going through this. We only have one greed mode victory, and it was literally just so we can unlock Lilith. We need to start, uh, let's well, say we, obviously, it's me that's to do it, and uh, I have to start actually using some of the other characters on greed mode. I've never actually played greed mode with other than Azazel. Quite annoying. Oh. Yeah. Pop on one of these and hopefully we get a third horseman. No, oh, god dude. No such luck this time. So I close as much damage as I possibly can here. Bombs are doing good for it. So it's good, I mean I never really make good use of bombs but when you get this many bomb items it's kind of hard not to go for a big wombo combo. Circle of protection protect me from myself. Not a clue what that does but okay. And I'm just going to leave this because if we play well enough then we should actually be okay. Because we just get another book of revelations thing and pop it and we'll have full HP. That's all right with me. Wanna try something? Okay, that's fine. We at least have what? One and a half hearts here. I'm gonna try and get this thing to explode and give us a blood bag. What do we have another half heart down there? No such luck. I just want to see. I wasn't too sure if inside the circle of protection you just damage enemies, but I guess not. Maybe they slow down or something, but there was no slow indication on it either. I'm not too sure. Happening there. <laughs> Chocolate milk. No, thank you. I'm not a fan of charge shot items. I just think uh, they make everything necessarily difficult. We're two rooms away. Do we have two rooms to visit? We do. That's fine. We'll just leave that. Slow tears down, perhaps, inside the circle. That could make sense. He's getting so many batteries right now. Oh my god, stop making spiders, man. 
Pop in that. And we'll grab this battery. Pop in that. <laughs> now we're up to full HP, so now, as I can see, about a bajillion times when we actually recharge this again. Uh, give us some damage. I know chocolate milk technically can help you with damage, but it's just not worth it to me. Oh, I've had two half hearts there as well. Could have kept going with the blood bank. Oh well. I'm known for nothing if not awful decisions. So, still no idea what circle protection does. I'm not too sure if it is helping us out when people are walking in to it, but. See if there's any tinted rocks or anything. Doesn't seem to be any. Oh, there is one right there. I right there. forgot how much destruction these bombs do. Let's see what happens when you put one here. You get a shot. <laughs> or a crawl space at the very least. She only has money in it. God damn, of all the things you get got in a crawl space. This is not what I was looking for. Right. Oh dear. Oh, yep, exactly. I was going to say we should just have used the key. Oh, I know a tinted rock one. There's a soul heart in it, so that's going to give us even more protection as well as the Book of Revelations. No oh, problem. Looking for the item room. Anybody seen the item room? Please keep your distance. Oh, oh, oh. Not today. I make too many of those mistakes already. I definitely feel like I've had this circle of protection before, but no. it's just it's just gonna annoy me until I know for sure what it does. Oh, two batteries! Wow. I think we can spare a couple of keys. I had a feeling that was going to be there. So it definitely doesn't slow enemies who come down, and it seems to, it does seem to kind of deflect bullets maybe now and again, like shots. I'm not too sure. Another soul heart. I'm just going to leave that half heart there. Split shot's actually quite good. I think we're going to take it. Splash damage is nice. I'm just gonna pick that up. Yeah. Now we'll pop it anyway. We need to pop it if we wanna try and get full bandage go. Oh, I thought I was gonna take some damage there. See, in these narrow rooms, it's pretty difficult not to get caught by those little dudes. I'd like to actually see the shop as well now that we've got half price on everything. Two card, two clubs, that's actually two more bombs. Clubs. Bottle of pills. No. Let me push this up to 30. Don't get anything for 30, unfortunately. There's another tinted rock. Flowing with tinted rocks today. I don't want to really take that half heart. It seemed like a real waste. We have a bad, bad boss fight here. So that's war. Awesome item. Another ball of bandages, level 3. We could get one of the most difficult things in the game done on this run, and that would be incredible, especially with Kane. I think we can only do it now on the heart. We're going to keep using bigger revelations anyway, but I'm very sure you can only get war famine, pestilence up here, and then you can only get the last piece of the puzzle. And the wind fighting death. Could totally be wrong, but 
We're gonna find there, aren't we? I guess I hope so. I know I didn't really need to use that there, but... This gives a little bit of hope. There's some big rooms here. Parasite's actually very, very useful, or is that maybe Bandage Girl that's actually doing all that damage, just crashing into people? No problem. Let's have another one done. Oh, again. I am a mess with these spike traps. Now it's done. No. <laughs> okay. It's all looking good, it's all looking good. The Emperor, that's fantastic. <laughs> so this is the issues we're facing currently. The only thing I can think about doing is maybe this. Timing it. And even then, I'm keep misjudging the blast radius and have to use bombs. There we go, that was a good one. I'm gonna make this battle a hell of a lot shorter. And there she goes. Old bandage HP up. One of these. And prayer card is nice. Gives us an eternal heart. We've got boss rush. We don't have a we do have a teleport, but I'd rather use it downstairs. So we're down here. We could get death. Let's pop book of revelations and go for it. Yes! Dropping slow on us. Oh dear. Here goes ball bandages. Come on, that's bandage girl. <laughs> no way, that was so difficult to get in the original version. I struggled so hard with that. Too late to take a couple of items, I think. Lord of the Pit, not really worth the two hearts. Dark Bum. Could be. Unlock Krampus, he's a little side boss. Always happy to see him. I know I probably shouldn't come back out here, but just wanna see if there was any red hearts we could grab. There isn't. So we're just gonna go straight back down here. Oh, I can't believe that. We've got bandage girl at the bay. Meat boy. Probably gonna be just as difficult. That was just sheer luck, but Okay, and that was <laughs> close to being pretty much unavoidable damage there. I had no idea what was gonna happen. That one. Yeah. There's so much keys. That's a dime or something. I'm sorry, I don't know how American currency works. You guys need to explain that to me. I'm going over to Florida in the summer. And I ain't got no idea what dimes and whatever. I don't know what dollar is. A quarter, I guess. Quarter is a quarter of a dollar. That was always going to be pretty funny. Lemon party. Stop blocking that. Stop blocking this bit off. Needs to die. So we're gonna pop this and use our battery and get another charge. So we're almost full HP yet again. Going so well right now. Tented rock, come on. Yes, so now we are actually only one heart away from max. And then to like basically the final boss. I'm going to try and avoid using bombs. I want to keep those four bombs for Mom's heart because the other one could probably just. Ah, okay. Maybe it is Bandage Girl, but at the same time, it seems like perhaps 
uh, if you get the actual circle part of the circle of protection onto someone, it may actually cause damage. No, no. Not a fan of these rooms. Yeah, that's why. Oh, come on. The problem we're having right now is because we have like zero damage. Finally! Oh, another battery. <laughs> and the chariot, also so useful. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking there, I could just let Bandage Girl go and deal with that one. Well, the danger of this room gone. Mm. We're we getting out of here. Flies. Flies are okay. Mm. Almost down to just our red hearts now. I think you can get red hearts actually out of these things if you hold them up, but again, we want to kind of. Hold on to our hearts, come on Dark Bum. Here's a favour. Hey hey, I love you man. It's pretty silly time to try and use a pill, but I'm gonna be the bad guy right now and just absolutely scum this out while I take a drink of water. Come on, man, give him my normal tears back. This ain't funny anymore. Such an annoying pill, because even with PhD, I think you can still get this. There we go. Oh, yeah, that was just ridiculous for me, wasn't it? Nothing else to be seen here. Boss. Oh, come on. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, it's gonna hit that one. Yes, Kane has the victory thanks to the greatest help of a bandage girl here. Dark Bomb is a little late comer, but he done so much to get us those. HPs and make sure we stayed at full max, full max, full red hearts. Thank you, buddy, for this battle. Don't even need to use the chariot, which is quite funny, but you know, we had the bomb damage from earlier on, which is fantastic. We now only have one character required to get a heart kill. Well, one normal character, that is. Feats in a jar is fantastic. It's a really good item. It's not quite as good as other ones, but it's still very good and we can do Demo Man with it. That's another thing I was going to start doing, I was maybe going to start uploading challenges on the Friday. You see we still have uh, all of these to do. I was hoping to try and complete one challenge a week and post it on a Friday. I'm planning to start streaming very soon if I can get it all sorted out, but I want to still keep working on this YouTube as much as possible. And I think Friday could be a good day for challenges. But until then guys, I want to thank you so much for joining me here today. What a victory with Kane. I thought it was never going to happen, he's so difficult to use in my opinion. Probably Hammer and Lilith are the two most difficult to use depending on what role you get with Eden. But other than that, we only have one character left to do. Lilith, your time is next, I really hope so. But until then guys, if you could like this video, share it among your friends, subscribe to my channel, anything, you know I appreciate any help you guys give me. I appreciate all your support, it really means so much to me. But until next time guys, I am the in the North. Stay out of the basement.